Lolo, we're still in the Harad Rahat and uh, we're here in the lava field and vent area of the uh, 1256 eruption and uh, here is a really kind of good situation to explain the dangers of walking on lava fields. So have a little look here. This is why, for example, you're not supposed to walk over young lava fields like on La Palma and other places. There was this really intriguing case of uh, a little house that uh, was surrounded by lava and there was a bunch of dogs caught on that little island within the lava field and the authorities didn't allow anyone to go there because there is these areas of gas that are pushing up the hardened crust and uh, of course they can collapse and these tunnels then they uh, would produce skylights by collapsing of the roof you get little holes in there and uh, of course you can break all limbs in your body when you're kind of falling into a hole like this so here the crust is actually not even solid it's made of several ones here we have a very very bubbly area if you come a little closer you can just about see um you can just about see the um bubbles here and then it's detached from that crust here and this upper area has less bubbles so this was uh, chilled more rapidly it was cooling more rapidly and uh, gas was kind of poking up against this crust lifting it up and maybe there was even lava flowing inside and these crusts they have of course cracks as you can see here here's a crack and uh, they're very unstable so if you look at it from above it looks like regular ground. You wouldn't actually realize that you're walking on top of an empty, hollow space underneath you. These cavities can cave in, literally, and uh, that can be very dangerous. So this is why on La Palma and other places like this, if they want to build a road, they have to get the caterpillars in there first. They have to progress step by step. They have to dig something. Uh, they have to excavate it effectively in order to avoid that machinery, people, vehicles are collapsing into these cavities. So that's one of the dangers. Thank you very much for listening and uh, I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.